go over my seven day mountain bear hunt gearless with a rifle all my overnight gear is in here the only variable would be food and food i can squeeze in between my pack bag and my frame like a sandwich um, and i can go up to 14 days like that no problem on the outside i have a 20 nosler um, i think with a bipod this comes in at 9.1 pounds with full mountain scope bipod um, and that's without the rounds obviously all right let's dig in here and clip this and then bring it over the bipod i really really like this package i have a gun a rifle that's three pounds lighter in this one for different use but for bear i like the punch that this one has um yeah so we're gonna set this over here all right so we're gonna dive in here really fast and blast so let me get these buckled again because i'm ocd all right so in here i'll carry like uh, extra ammo or anything that I need to get easy reach. And then in here, ultralight rain gear. Since it's early season, I don't need my heavy rain jacket. So I'll we'll set that there. And we got a little sill zip bag from Lux to keep everything organized. And I got gloves, beanie, balaclava, extra charging cables for my phone, a little ultralight tripod in here for taking pictures. Um, an in-reach mini for uh, texting back and forth with a satellite. All right, we'll throw that there. And then I keep extra snacks and electrolytes and stuff right here. And then let's get into this part. So this is just a sleeping pad. So I can insulate myself and that also helps so that you don't pop your air pad. Let's see. All right, we're gonna open the main compartment. And then everything is in dry sacks because it rains here year round. So always be prepared. So in this dry sack, I got extra layers, insulation. So I have like a heavy duty insulation. That one's more of a heavy fleece. And then I have a windbreaker uh, vest. And that one I wear the most, even when it's raining, I can put it on just with the t-shirt. Um, and then I have more of a lightweight fleece. And then an ultralight down jacket. This only weighs, I don't even know, it's so light. All right. So put this back in here. And then the ultralight pot, the whole stove is in here. The only thing miss, missing is the fuel and that's Esbit cubes. And I use that early season only. And then when it starts to get colder later season, uh, I use a canister stove. We'll go over that on another time. All right, let's see. So kill kit and a sill zip bag. Everything I need after the animal is down that I can process it fully. So real quick. I keep a Tyvek ground sheet so I can keep the meat clean when I'm laying it off the body um, to process it. Cordage, I keep two knives, extra headlamp, and then that's pretty much it. And oh, uh, I'm trying to hurry here. I keep uh, latex gloves because I find that that actually helps you grip skin and different things. Um, so put that right there. And then another sill zip bag, and this is a ditty bag. So in here real quick, I have bear line to hang the food. I have toilet paper, lighter, headlamp, uh, let's see, battery bank to charge my phone and other de uh, satellite device. Um, that's pretty much it, oh, a little first aid kit. In this one, I use these little organizer gear bags as a tent bag. And then in here I have a two-person hex pig teepee, and that can be set up with a trekking pole. And actually that's something that I didn't bring over here. 
So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, in the mountains, on really steep country, especially if you're carrying out meat, I recommend two good trekking poles. And then one of these poles, I can set up the teepee. La 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 la. Uh, water filter. And I also, in the ditty bag, I carry uh, awkward mirror drops. But this is a regular size uh, Sawyer filter. And then, real quick, I wear a bino harness at all times, except when I'm not sleeping. Um, this is so I can really quick find, uh, I can use, look, use them to look at the sex of the bear, or I like just to look at critters along the hillside. Even when I'm backpacking, I always wear this now. And then on the bottom, I have a range finder so I can see the range of the animal. And then I carry a little bit of a powder so that I can poof, put it up in the air and I can see which way the wind direction is going. Very important. And then, uh, yeah, I'll go back to the tent real quick. So in the Hess Peak, I always use an inner tent, almost always. Um, that's a bug protection that hooks up inside the little teepee so that way I actually sleep warmer and I have full bug protection. Air pad for sleeping. And then inside of here is 15 degree ultralight bag. This only weighs two and a half pounds. And I like to use no less than 15 degree bag, even in summer in the Olympics. Um, let's see, what did I forget to cover? We can go over a little bit about the backpack. So the backpack, this carbon frame can be switched out with many other pack bags for other trips that I have coming up. Um, so I really like it and recommend it. It's got heavy lumbar, park, lumbar pad and then um, an actual frame that goes down into the hip belt because most bags, even that you, set, you see it, even Cabela's or REI or anything like that, are not really designed to carry heavy loads. So make sure you research a good frame. Anyways, I think that goes over everything. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm sure I missed a zillion things in the comments below. Upcoming this summer, I'm hoping to put together my bike pack hunting gear list on this YouTube channel. And then I'm gonna put a later season, cold, colder weather um, hunting gear list. Um, thanks for watching.